Welcome to Having Words, I'm Josh, we're joined by the same people who joined me on the Love Island exclusive episode. We've got Danny, we've got Penny, we've got Ben, and we've got Katie. This guy is having games where you guys are trying to compete for a random adjective to put the end of your name. We've got teams this time, we've got Penny and Danny versus Ben and Katie. If depending on what team wins, you guys are going to get a random adjective for your own person. Now this week we've got Urban Dictionaries, which basically means I've scoured through all of Urban Dictionary website. Everyone's heard of the website, Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Yeah. The entire website website and I've found a few selective phrases for you guys which I'm going to ask you what you think it is and you're going to mingle amongst yourselves and try mingle. and do- mingle. mingle you're going to discuss amongst yourselves and try and come up oh with God. what you yeah, think the word means and then you're going to report back to me the person who has the closest answer that I'm going to give the point to and if you finish with the most points you get a randomly generated adjective for the episode Great. how does that sound? Great. Perfect. Perfect. All good. Brilliant. Ben how are you feeling actually on the podcast this time? I feel alright you'll, fi- you'll be fine you'll yeah. be right we're going to get straight into it um with with the first word smartphone waterfall Ooh. okay the urban dictionary oh. is smartphone waterfall urban and dictionary as well so that can go that could be anything smartphone is this PG? uh no it's a pg at all 15? <laughs> 15 18 plus adult content <laughs> only smartphone <laughs> waterfall penny and ben do rock paper scissors as to decide which team goes first okay okay are we going on three <laughs> <laughs> yeah Oh, hang on. <laughs> one, 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 three. two, three. Yeah, okay. Oh, ben won. Yeah. Ben, so you get to decide who, 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 nice, who, wants to, who wants to go first. Why was that so unnerving that neither of us said rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was really yeah. silent. <laughs> really intense. Taking that seriously. Yeah. Um, let's go first. Yeah, you want to go okay. first. Okay, so yeah, um, it's smartphone walls for. I'll give you both a few minutes to think what you see. Cool. You both can devise uh, what, you, what you think. So let's have our mingle. Is this is my very lucky penis. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair though, I'm on the A smartphone oh. like his penis. Like a penis. <laughs> like whose penis? MC. A generic it's penis. A smart, a oh, any old penis. penis. Yeah, he, had, he got his smartphone out. Is that actually? He got his penis out. And then why? But being then how does that relate <laughs> to a water? The waterfall wow. being semen. Oh. <laughs> now, just okay. because it doesn't have to be a PG doesn't mean it isn't, isn't PG, right? I think first guess, our first guess was alright. Logic. Yeah. Ben and Katie, you guys are going first. So what do you think smartphone waterfall is? I think we, Jesus. after our mingle... That, after was, that mingle, was the dog, by the way, mingle. no, I can't <laughs> 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 Yeah. We decided that it was when you drop your phone into the toilet... And don't yeah. realise. Uh, you don't initially realise until you then flush the toilet. Oh, and then and smartphone. That is, that is a good one. That is the waterfall. Smartphone waterfall. I really like that. That's probably one of the most interesting and accurate to the name that, thing that we've received, but it's not right. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> it's not right really? at all. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Penny and Danny. So. Smartphone waterfall. I don't know why it's called smartphone, because I don't think anyone says, oh, I'll check out my smartphone anymore. Yeah. So smartphone could mean a penis. <laughs> but I actually we were saying I think yeah. it's when you get like, flooded with whatsapps yeah. like a waterfall of whatsapps into yeah. your smartphone oh. yeah. or general notifications from like a thread of notifications shit yeah. man my phone yeah. waterfall yeah. I like that um, incorrect again oh, okay. now I'm going to say that now I have to give it a point this round usually with this game we pick between the two of you we keep going until someone gets it right this time I'm just going to give it to the person which I think got closest to the answer now the answer was when one person checks their phone, inciting a domino effect of everyone else ah, checking their, their oh own I phones. See. And I think because, because Penny and Danny mm. elaborated on the waterfall of, of notifications yeah. aspect, mm. they, will be, well, they will get a point this round. So you guys Ooh. have a point this round. Fair enough. So you guys, but you guys had a pretty good that answer. That was really good. good. That was good. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> we should add that in to Evolutionary. We'll add that, yeah, we'll oh, change I might, it. I might add that in, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you won now, wait. Yeah. copyright on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, moving on to round two. Round two. <laughs> <laughs> the next one we have for you guys is Bedgasm. Now, because Danny and Penny Penny won the last round, Ben and Katie, you're going first this round like last round. Bedgasm. What do you guys think Bedgasm is? So we think it's... But you won last round. Uh, excuse me, we're answering our question. <laughs> 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 um, we think it is... Um, when you're you well a kind of combination of like say crisp sheets on the bed and you just slide into that at the end of a day and you're just like oh bed oh, the- followed by in the middle of the night like a hot sticky night or whatever flip that pillow over <laughs> and it, or if you're against a wall you just press yourself against it it's just like oh just like a bed gasm gorgeous or also just three points you can't, you can't give slipping three the, my favorite personally is going to bed with a pair of woolies on yeah. socks yeah and slipping them off in the early uh-huh. hours of the morning and that for me is a bed gasm just like oh 
Didn't need the sound effects. Okay, That's very nice. Answer. Very nice. I like that. Okay, Danny and Penny. Okay. I feel like you stole that. Answer. Yeah, it was very similar. Our answer was when you get into bed at the end of a long day. And you just like, oh, it just feels so good to just Freshies. be in bed. In yeah. gym jammies. Yeah, gym jammies. Yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> on the side. Yeah, with the yeah. Two. yeah. Now, you guys are actually both right, but obviously because Katie and Ben went first, they get the point for that round. So you guys are currently wow. both on one point each. Danny the- looks livid, like furious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't furious. believe it. The actual description is a feeling of complete, utter euth- what? Euth- euphoria. euphoria. Euphoria, which yep. peaks with... <laughs> Euphoria. 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 Yeah. Euphoria. 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 Which peaks when climbing into bed. So yeah, there we go, you guys. You guys got that pretty well, actually. But if you guys didn't get the advantage, they would have got that. Oh, why? Because we elaborated too much. Do we go down the road with that? You no, you did, got the you point did. because you guys went first. Because you, you went first, but you <laughs> only went first because we won the last one. Yeah, so, so now... Basically, oh, okay. you guys won that point because we're better than you. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> we weren't competitive. I mean... Crashed <laughs> yeah. Now it's Penny and Danny going first in round three. Right. This one is bread crumbing. Bread crumbing, oh, one word. Bread crumbing. It could oh. be sexual, could not be sexual. Yeah. I'll give you guys a few minutes to think what bread crumbing is. Something gross, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? Just that <laughs> word alone. <laughs> no. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, gosh, yeah. Good at this. <laughs> okay. I think you just heard us. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, okay, you guys. You guys seem pretty sure on your answer, actually, both of you do. Um, but we're starting with Danny and Penny. What's your answer to breadcrumbing? Okay. So it started because breadcrumbing is when you follow someone on the internet. And you explain it better. Okay, so breadcrumbing is, you know, in like the... Um, like a trail yeah. that you leave behind. Yeah, you know in the Hansel fairy tales, in Hansel and Gretel, they left the breadcrumbs so they could go back to where they were. Mm. Also on websites, a breadcrumb trail is to go to the pages you've been on before to, before you get to that page. So we thought it's going back to your ex. Uh-huh. Or like, yeah, you're, you're trailing, you're like, someone's yeah. cheating on you, you're trailing them, and you're like, I was breadcrumbing that dick and he was cheating on me. <laughs> Breadcrumbing yeah. the dick. No, <laughs> that, that dick. That asshole. And yeah. it just, we, oh. I, I trailed his, like, yeah. either like online things. or real life. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. I like Interesting. that. Interesting. Ben and Katie, your answer, breadcrumbing. So ours, it stemmed from the same mm. sort of origin, yes. Hansel and Gretel. Yes. <laughs> However, yeah. instead of to catch a cheating partner, our train of thought was... Catch little children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. No! And then eat them. Yes. No. Um, it was you would deliberately leave an item at someone's house that you were seeing Ooh. and then you you would have an excuse to go back. But, oh, hey, I left my glasses. Can yeah. I pop over, yeah. pick them up? And maybe, then maybe yeah, I forgot I can't see on my way out. Yeah. 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 Breadcrumbing. Breadcrumbed. You've breadcrumbed. You it. just... Oh, I Sorry, forgot that. Sorry, I breadcrumbed you. Well, you wouldn't say that to them. Secret, <laughs> secret crumbing. Say to your mates, I breadcrumbed her last weekend. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> that's that's disgusting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, better than a breadcrumbed dick or whatever you say. <laughs> that's you online, no. So you're playing mind games, yeah. Katie. Um, I really like both your answers, but be- because none of them are actually close to what the actual thing was... It's the act of sending flirtatious text messages to fish for a sexual partner. Ah, planting seeds. Planting seeds in that regard. Because they weren't close, we're going to move on to the next question, the the other one that I have. So currently you are both still on one point each. You're drawing Mm. so far. So it all could could come down to this one, okay? Okay. And this one, hopefully it should be a quick one for you guys. Round four is business shower for you guys. Business shower, I'll give you a few minutes to think what business shower could be. Is it like... I mean, that's so loud. Are you going to discuss it at that yeah. decibel? I think that business <laughs> yeah. shower works. You just turn listen. around and you're like, I think it might be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I think that's yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Like, we get to go first then. Do they? Because they went first last time. No, last you went first last, you last time. You went first last time. time. So you get to go first. You get to go first again. Is yeah. it not rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. Nope. No. Um, okay, so Danny and Penny, give me your um, description as to what you think 
business shower is. We think it's when you have to, when you have a shower either before or after sex, and it's like, hey, quick, I need a, bus- I need a business shower this shit. So it's like a quick in and out clean. Before or after before, the business. Before or after the business. So Wait, what do you mean, what's the business? Sex. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, interesting, yeah. Mm. Ben oh, and Katie. Shower. We felt it's more like a formalised golden shower. Oh, God. So a golden shower <laughs> when you being get into the shower when you tubs. urinate on someone. Yeah, but, you but just instead of being naked, you are <laughs> wearing business. Uh, just to make it not feel as grotty. I think not to make it feel as grotty as it otherwise would, I'm imagining. So I'm James Bond and Casino Royale, when he gets in the shower, it's either green plus urine. Yeah, yeah. and that would yeah. be known as a business shower. Plus a girl. Or, or I feel like some sort of it. urine is involved in this. Um, so basically, I, I, our sum up is yeah, please a zhuzhi golden shower. <laughs> a zhuzhi golden shower. Is it actually a shower for work? Like what, I mean, a business shower. shower is it actually a shower that someone takes before they go to their office job? And we're looking at it completely the wrong way. <laughs> it's actually just like the quick shower you <laughs> have when you wake yeah, up in the morning. Shower. It's gonna be so innocent. Yeah. <laughs> you said it was not. You yeah. guys, you guys keep making it tough for me. Um, I think last round, obviously, I drew it because you guys weren't close. This round, I think both th- both of you were close in different ways, evenly. What okay, so I'll read it out to you guys. Um, it, a business shower is an intimate shower two people take solely to save the same time. You guys said about the shower aspect. You guys said there's, mul- there's multiple people. So I'm going to give you both a point for that, and we're going to move on to the final question, the final one that I have. In round five. Can Wait. we start this round? Can we have this question first? Can we this round for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. It was also a draw. That's stuck with them. Yeah. Stop them. yeah. Uh, round five, the word I have for you guys from Urban Dictionary is the three touch rule. The three touch rule. Oh. What well, do you guys is, think actually. is the three think... touch rule? Mm. Mm. Does that make mm. sense? Yeah, yeah, got it. So it's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, totes, totes. Mm. It's three. <laughs> okay, do you have two boobs? <laughs> or three? Or two balls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, what do you think? We haven't, no, we haven't <laughs> gone yeah, to three. Yeah, let's see if it works. Oh, this, is, this one's really hard. Well, we got it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, actually, what are we going for? Well, we, we don't know that yet, but we think we have. Well, yours didn't make any sense at all. Say so you Jesus, thought so. I don't want to hear what it is. <laughs> um, actually, no. No, no, no. Let's go with. No, I'm going to say mine, I'm going to say mine. No. I feel like it's been a lot simpler. We've been reading too much into it. And it's been <laughs> okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll be like... I really want to hear that other answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need to hear it after. <laughs> 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 okay, like, how are you trying to... Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, final. <laughs> um, okay, now obviously, um, Danny and Penny, you guys are going first you. because yes. Katie and Ben won two rounds ago. <laughs> I mean, we drew both rounds. No, you, you drew last yeah. round. It sounded like we lost but then two, two rounds ago. <laughs> Did you win, though? Was <laughs> um, what our, is your answer to the three touch rule? Our answer is when you're in a potential courting situation uh-huh. um, mm-hmm. with another person, oh. and there's three points of contact before you can tell whether they like you or not. Yeah. For example, a guy could. Uh, tuck a girl's hair behind her ear, touch her arm, upper touch back. her upper back, Lower that back. kind of thing. Um, not sexual touching at all, just points of contact mm-hmm. to see if it's a flirty situation. Okay, interesting. And Ben and Katie? Ours actually ended up being quite similar to that oh, in terms yeah. of like... Jesus. I know, no, genuinely. So because we had a lot, of back and forth, <laughs> a lot of back and forth, but we thought it was like... Yeah, the three touch it's kind of like you've got like, you know, like one, two, three, and then people kind of would like to gesture if that's Audio, kind of a. Listeners what can't see what. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, point, yeah, basically, yeah, same as that, like touch Three points people. of contact. Yeah, I mean, that's what we settled on in the end. Now, you guys obviously see very similar answers, and the final answer, what the definition was when one person touches another on three separate occasions at a single event to show that they are interested in them, which means Danny. Sad. And Penny, you guys have won with three points against two points. Ben and Katie, Beautiful. congratulations, thank you won. You very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. congratulations. You did it, I think, in the quickest episode of Having Games ever, which has been 20 minutes long so far. Nice. Um, so now you guys, obviously, you're competing for a random adjective to go at the end of your name. Penny already has one. Penny the... Dramatic. Penny the dramatic. Danny, yeah. you're just pa- Danny the at the moment. Danny have one yet. Danny, Danny, oh, Danny pad. Um, so... <laughs> Is 
Sultan Abu Yusuf. Sultan Abu Yusuf. Sultan Abu Yusuf. Sounds like a sanitary item. Danny pads. You've got a Danny pad. Too many Danny pads. Too many Danny pads. Now, although you guys won, and although you guys do get a title, one each this time because you guys are on the same mm-hmm. team, it doesn't mean the title is going to be good. In the past, we've had one of my contestants, one of my contestants, one of my guests, Joe. No, who was it? Tom. Tom went from Tom the Powerful. To Tom the Terrible, even though he won. Is it like generated on a system? Yes, yeah. it's um, on this website. Oh, it's, it's all amazing. randomly generated, okay. yeah. Hmm. Okay. So I'm, I've, I've generated a few here, um, and well, two here, and you guys, uh, I'm going to give it to each of you. So currently, Penny, you're Penny the Dramatic. Yes. Um, Penny, you've now won. I feel like this needs to be Love Island, where it's like the person I'm picking <laughs> is. It's from their way. A little, vo- a little speech why. A little yeah. speech why. Um, Penny, you're, yes. you, you were Penny the, Penny the Dramatic. Now, <laughs> you are Penny the Unaccountable. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's whoa. that's <laughs> difficult. Oh, no, nice. I don't know if it was better or worse. What does that even mean? I don't know. Yes. Dramat- un- unaccountable. Unaccountable is like, kind of like, you can't rely on them. Yeah. Oh. Or isn't it, you can't blame me for anything? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, so it is that well. Which is yeah. ironic in a group situation. Yeah. Very <laughs> true. Oh, no. um, and Danny... Yeah. It could be a good one. I could just be yeah. laughing for hell of it. Um, Danny, you were Danny the Danny Pad. Sorry, Danny Pad. Danny Pad. <laughs> I love it. Danny. Now, nice no, coming to the office on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you are Danny, the clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say that I'm not clumsy, but I'll take it. You'll take it. I'll roll with it. And that just yeah. means that you guys might have to come back next time to Wear try it. and get a better name in the future. Oh, I, I like it. Yeah? Same with Thanks. same with Ben and Katie. Yeah. You guys are going to come back just, just to try and get, get a name. Absolutely. A name. I'm exactly. saying Stick so 4 Wine no was nominated name. the clumsiest in Stick 4 Wine. I got an award. I got an award in my room. So how does it feel now that Danny's now taking a name? It's slightly like suffocating and concerning, but it's okay. She might change. Do you guys feel alright the fact that you didn't win and you didn't win a name? It's all right, because we'll still be Ken. Yeah. You'll still be friends. Ken, your couple one, exactly, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. But maybe in the future... <laughs> yeah, great. Maybe in the future I can have you two face against each other, which would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, in, a, in an actual physical yeah. fight. We probably. actually, I have to say, work f- for the record very well as a team in this situation. Can we you don't tell normally. Us what the other thing was? Yeah, what was the other thing for Three Touch Rule? I don't know if it's appropriate for the. Yeah, uh, say it. Say, you say said it. Golden Showers. The Happy Word audience has. <laughs> the Happy Word audience has heard a lot. Well, I what thought it might. I just wondered. Oh. You're so going to have to cut this out. You know, just I mean, tries. I wondered if it would be like Three Touch Rule is like you kind of, when you're getting to know someone, you're getting into me. You know, you've got like bases. But I thought it might be like kind of a halfway house between bases. So it was like you kind of like maybe touch like the bell end and touch like the main bit and touch the balls. <laughs> <laughs> it was like three touch. So, so you no, when like she was telling you when she was telling you One, this, what were you thinking? Two. I was thinking <laughs> <kind of> no. <laughs> It's very specific to the male genitalia. Yeah, the girls might be like boobs, and then you might, head, you know, whatever. Then we head does half. Head does half. What I like no, is, is yeah. Ben said he was like, I think we're taking this a little bit too far. We might just need to yeah. wind yeah. this back a little yeah. bit, really find out what, what we think of this. Yes, I would PG. maybe not, not include that in the final <laughs> cut, considering that our boss I've been listening to him. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, <laughs> Rebecca. Uh, <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Um, now, not. you guys won, congratulations, Thank and you've you. also Thank finished you. your first Having Games podcast right. and your first ever podcast, all of you, earlier. How does it feel to do your first ever podcast? I'm worried about what I'm going to sound like on uh... That's the biggest concern. I'm really podcast. excited, I really liked it, really yeah. fun, definitely want to come back again. I think, yeah. Ben, you've enjoyed it now? Yeah, it's refreshing. It is refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's relaxed. Because he wasn't sure at first, so... Yeah. Besides good. how hot it is in here, it's actually quite relaxed. I'm actually well. quite... So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so. what? God, so hot. the jacket. <laughs> um, now, the other games that we do are movie pitches, where I give the guests a movie actor's name or a celebrity and a random genre and a randomly generated object, and they have tried to pitch to me individually a movie idea. That's pitch a good one. That's a good one. That's and good. that one is so much fun. I was going to do it with you guys, but it literally takes, it takes like an hour yes, to do. Fine. It would have gone another too time. long. So another Next time. time. Next time. But you can check that that um, Having Games episode and Having Games episode five with Woodrow Cox. That was a very insane episode. Um, now, before we finish off, any shout outs this episode of Having Games episode? No. I think, again, it would have to be a shout out to Rebecca, who is eagerly waiting for this episode. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Uh, so, again, a, my uh, manager, director, the, produ- to the bro- production team. <laughs> yes, yeah, another thank you, uh, shout out to the family, friends, and colleagues yeah, who yeah, supported yeah. me yes. and <laughs> get to the point I'm at. Yeah, yeah and also Olive, wherever she is. 
Wherever she Oliver's. lives. The dog Oliver yeah, somewhere. Yeah, slightly less vocal in this one, but yeah. uh, she... Uh, I'm going to shout out our non-winners because they're not losers. Oh, We're all winners loser. here. Just the slightly non-winners here, Ben and Katie. Thank you for coming on. I'm looking forward to you, you two in the future coming on the podcast. Doing We're more, very excited. Games, yeah. Doing more stuff in the future. That'd be a lot of fun. Totally. Um, now, before we finish up, Danny, I was going to ask you, <laughs> do you or anyone else have any podcast recommendations? Oh my God, so many. Oh, shit. Uh, let me get do my it. phone. Oh, do it. Well. Do Someone it. pass my phone. Right, we'll be here for hours. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm very... All right, start off with Love Island... The morning after. Yeah, we're going to take a dark twist. A dark turn. Science ish is great. <laughs> Science ish. Uh, Science ish. Oh, right. I listened this week. Which one? To Dr. Death. No, right. Uh, the Shrink Next Door. Yeah. And, and Dr. Death. Dirty, and Dirty John. So those three are great. Three. Yeah. Also, I'd highly recommend, this is just from personal preference that I've been listening to, big podcast fan over here, uh, <laughs> The Ballad of Billy Balls. Great, great. What's it about? It is about, it's actually a mother daughter story. Um, that involves a murder it's true life and a lot of drugs and it's about like the healing process but it's fucking amazing mm-hmm. I'll just swear. confronting OJ Simpson is the sister of the the guy that got killed I shouldn't know his name just can't think right now but it's her side of the story it's yeah. amazing This Land is about Native American land in America very interesting Running From Cops great listen to it if you've listened to uh, anything from Pineapple Street Media they're great Unexplained pretty good Yeah. pretty spooky Went to see him live. Really he did in Brighton. Yeah. yeah. With Crime your dad, Town, right? My dad. I'm not sure what he thought about it. Crime Town and obviously Ear Hustle are my ones at the moment. And Hamish and Andy. If you want to <laughs> lol for hours and you want something just to listen to in the background, Hamish and Andy. When having words isn't on. Obviously. Of course. Hamish and Andy. Hamish and Andy. <laughs> are yes. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Great, thank you. There you go. There you go, thank you. Does anyone else have any other podcast recommendations when Danny just went through the entire podcast directory? I do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would... Suggest listening to Adam Buxton's yes, podcast. Classic, Very yeah. funny guy. Mm-hmm. And he's had the celebrated Louis Theroux on a few times oh. as well, who I think everyone loves. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also another crime podcast is Death in Ice Valley. Oh, so good. Yeah. Death in really Ice good. Valley. Yeah. I love so it's death. about an unsolved, what they think is a murder. Yeah. They're still unsure mystery uh from the 60s yeah it's yeah, good and was it in norway yes i think and yeah the story behind it is is very interesting that's cool also one before you go yeah i just lost it i can't remember the name <laughs> it's a really good crime one atlanta monster monster Atla- atlanta monster atlanta monster yeah Mon- monster. monster i never said that word monster monster yeah it's about a really famous murderer it's all great, but the O.J. Simpson one and this land is, is worth listening to. There's plenty of content. And just Amazing. real quick, I feel like it's kind of tabooed upon, I think we discussed this actually, about discussing podcasts. Like I feel like podcasts should be a thing. It's like, hey, what music do you listen to? Yeah, hey, yeah. what podcasts do you listen to? Yeah. So I'm going to encourage our, our listeners to discuss podcasts with yeah. the people that, that they're surrounding themselves with, their friends and family. Ask what, what podcasts they listen to. Recommend a podcast. It doesn't yeah. have to be this one. It would be nice if it was this one, but it, it could be other ones as well. Um, now, before we finish up, any final words from the winners? Do you have any final words? The winners. The winners, yes, we are the winners. <laughs> Thank you for having us on. Great, Very yeah. Exciting. <laughs> That's it, really. That's yeah. it, okay, yeah. cool. You can find us on um, Spotify and iTunes, and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit, and support us on Patreon. Feel free to leave an iTunes review if you enjoyed this episode, and we will see you next week. Thank you guys for being on ever so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Woo! Woo! Woo!